week is rather it's been Luke 15 1 through 7 and so we're going to talk a little bit about that this is a book that I made this is actually a journal a planner great child These are some books that I read this book right here is a book that um, one of the sisters, my sister Julia gave me this book years ago I wish I would put the date in it but she gave me this book years ago and I still read this book. It got messed up. It's been through some things, <laughs> but I love this book. If you don't have this book, you should find this book um, and get it. It's definitely very inspirational um, and I love to read this. This right here is um, a prayer request box that I made. Um, I just... Um, printed something out on my computer. I printed the scripture out on the computer. Um, and it says prayer request. I'm trying not to get the glare in there. But there's different requests on these pieces of paper in there. Um, that, um, that I'm, you know, petitioning the Lord for and believing God for. Um, so we have to meet, make sure our requests are made known to the Lord. And... This is just a reminder for me of all the prayers that I prayed. And sometimes I like to go back in and see the prayers, answers to prayers. So it's a, this is a good way of, um, it's just a shadow box, shadow box frame. I think I may have gotten it from the Goodwills for like maybe two hours or something. And I figured, oh, I can use this. And I just open it up and I place the prayer request inside. So yeah, that's just a fun way of keeping prayer requests in there so yeah so let's just put a few things on my shelf this was made by um sister Kavanza and Zenobia and um Kimberly um you know with the meal with her mother it's a beautiful tribute and I also have that up there this is an old picture of my parents <laughs> from Christ Haven Academy and um one of the sisters at church system of the meetings Chip bag, um, the repass. And it has my mother's quote, Christ is all, and Jesus facts. This is really cute, so I absolutely love this. And uh, I'm trying to see if I can get it. And it says, The highest place I want to be is at the foot of Jesus, so he can. Get the glory out of my life. That was one of her quotes in scriptures. But yeah, this was absolutely beautiful. So I saved it. Mm -hmm. I have it up here. And just some frames that I bought. I uh, got these from Hobby Lobby. Rise up and pray. Um, she confidently trusts the Lord to take care of her. This is also uh, my ribbon from. Um, my sister Darlene, she made these. Uh, my sister Darlene made these. Sorry, I thought I had it in the shot. <laughs> um, she made these for um, my mother's home going. And it just says, Mother Thomasina Todd. And it has a birth date. And then the day she went to heaven. It's really pretty. And we wore these that day. It has a mirror across. So thank you, Sister Darlene. Mickens. But yeah, I used to keep that up there. She also made one for my dad too. I have to I have to find it. I'm moving things getting misplaced. So these are just a few books that I read. Um of course I have other materials, but this is just what I have up here. Um some things that I go through and read. So yeah, this is just my shelf. And I have things to write on. Of course my Bible. I'm gonna have a picture of me and my dad. So I'm actually kneeling down and I, when I'm kneeling, I can kinda you know, reference this shelf right here. Of course you have to have your tissues. I have some praying oil. And this is also some bean books and some beverages and some things to snack on while I'm in the room. So yeah, so yeah. This area, this is the divider of the room. These are actually three bookcases, same size as this. The other ones are turned the opposite direction facing the other side of the room. And then on this side to cover the back of the 
bookcase. I used um, this backdrop. These are backdrops from Amazon that I cut and then use adhesive spray and put them on a panel so they can stay flat. So sometimes I take my pictures there and it just gives me a nice um, you know, kind of like cohesive look. So yeah. Of course, this fiddle leaf tree from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got my speaker for music. This, I think I found that at the thrift store. These pillow are actually just pillow slip covers that I found at Amazon. It's a pack of four. So give me some, you know, pop of color and then this this is a throw that I had. I think I got that from Ross years ago. And then, of course, my Crazy Child sign, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. And then this actually is a hula hoop. <laughs> I still happen to have a yellow hula hoop in my garage. I was like, okay, I can use that. So it's the hula hoop. And as you can see, it has some push pins. I was going to spray the hula hoop a black color. But then I was like, mm, it actually matches my pillow. I'm just going to just gonna keep it. It kind of kind of goes pretty well with it. I love it. I love the pop of color. So, yeah. That's my room. Yeah. There's some things that I have there. Um, but, yeah. So, I hope I inspired you to, you know, pray and to really have this creative space where you can worship and meditate on God, study his word. Um, and just be encouraged, you know, and also to pray for others. And I feel like the more that I pray, the more that I become lifted and um, and my loads don't seem as heavy. And I know we're not supposed to carry our loads, but, you know, as mothers, we take on so much. As wives, we take on so much. As women, we take on so much. So just being able to have a space where I can just come and just be in God's presence and just hear from him. Or just to be creative or just to be able to just have some peace, you know. So I thank God for my space <laughs> that he's allowed me to have. So, yeah, I'll get more into the details of my beauty room. Maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is just a preview of that. She loves sitting in this chair. So there you have it. So I'll be looking out for the next video. Mm -hmm.